Hello and welcome to day four of the 12 days of No Safer Place. Now, as it's coming to the end of the year, I thought I would do something a little bit different and show you my favourite things of 2016. So let's get right into the video. The first thing is this sheer blonde John Frieda full blown blonde root lifting spray. This makes my hair feel amazing. Now, because my hair is kind of it's really hard to tame my hair because it's so curly, it gets so knotty and the curls don't stay for very long when I brush them. But this makes them stay for so long. So once I get out of the bath and I comb my hair, I put this straight in at the roots and it's just brilliant. It makes my hair feel lovely and bouncy and it's just amazing. And I've had this for ages. It lasts for so long because you don't have to put much in your hair. So that is definitely a must for me for 2016. The next thing, now I have had this perfume for a few years, but I absolutely love it and I can't go a day without it. And it is Emporio Armani Diamonds and it is in Rose. They also have like a normal one and a lavender one, I think. But the Rose one is definitely my favourite. This is the bigger bottle. I think it might be the 100 mils. And although it's kind of a floral smell, it's really fresh as well because I don't really like floral scents usually, but this one is so fresh. It's just amazing. So I put that on every single day. It is such a lovely smell. And it's not just a smell that you can use for one season because I know there's quite a few perfumes that you can't use for more than one season because it doesn't really smell right. But this one is just beautiful. The next thing is my Rimmel Under My Spell lipstick, which is what I'm wearing now. I absolutely love this one. I actually wore this lipstick on my wedding day. I just love it. So it brings back nice memories whenever I wear it. And it's number 800 and it's called Under My Spell. And I think it was only about £5 and I bought the lip liner with it, which was 2 49 so it's really not expensive and it lasts for ages and doesn't come up on your teeth or anything like that. The next thing is another piece of makeup and it is the MUA Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. And this is in the colour Iridescent Gold. Now, I wear this almost every day. I've worn it every day for about six months and I still have absolutely loads left. It's basically still full up. And I just put it on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but I always put some here and it's just beautiful. It's, it's not too much, but obviously if you want it to be over the top, you can just add more layers. But I love it just for a nice shimmer on my cheeks in the mornings. Now, the next thing is the Zoella Homemade Treats Diffuser. Now, I believe she introduced this in... September I think was it the end of September or the beginning of October it was sometime around then but I have had this out every single day since about two days after the release date and look how much is still left in it and it smells absolutely incredible even now two or three months later when I come into my front room it smells of this scent and this one is homemade treats and I don't know how to describe it really it smells like maybe salted caramel or something just something really sweet like you've opened up a bag of pick and mix and she's put it into this bottle it just smells amazing and I, I thought it only lasted about six weeks but it's lasted so much longer the next thing now this is the thing that might surprise you I think if you don't know me I am in love with Pokemon and on the 23rd of November Pokemon Moon came out and my husband got Pokemon Sun and I was absolutely addicted to playing this game and finished it in a matter of days. It was so addictive and it is probably one of my favourite Pokemon games that has been released. It is brilliant. The next thing, now this isn't my favourite of this year, this has been my favourite for absolute years and it is the holiday i couldn't have a christmas favorite things video without including the holiday i absolutely love jude law as you know and i love christmas films so the combination is just perfect for me and it's just such a sweet feel-good film i can never get through this film without crying even though i've seen it about a hundred times <laughs> 
but it is such a good film. So if you want to watch a film over Christmas and you haven't seen The Holiday, it is usually on ITV2 if you're in England, the majority of the time throughout December. <laughs> the next thing, now I could not have a Christmas book. And as you know, my favourite Christmas book this year has to be The Christmas Saurus by Tom Fletcher. And he also has just brought out Christmas Saurus Live, which is next December at the Hammersmith Apollo which I've got tickets for and Tom and G are going to be in it and it just sounds amazing. I did a full review on this book so if you would like to read it I will leave a description in the link below and I really hope you enjoy it because this book is so good and I don't think it's just enjoyable for kids, it's enjoyable for everyone, it's just such a nice Christmas book. And the last thing in my favourites video I think you all would have guessed this because you know how much I love Samantha Shannon. It is The Song Rising. Now, this book doesn't come out till March this year, but this is an uncorrected proof which I got sent early. So this really should be in a 2017 favourites video, but it is so good and it is the, the best book I've read all year. It is such a good book. And if you haven't read any of Samantha's books, this is the third in the Bone Season series and it is incredible, so make sure you check it out. That is it for my favourites video today. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you'd like me to do for the upcoming days of 12 Days of No Safer Place. And give me a like, subscribe to me, leave me a comment, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.